Hi, in this video I am going to explain marginal costing statement. So before I am going to solve this problem, let me explain what is the meaning, what is the basic concept of marginal costing. Then I am going to explain each and every terms used in marginal costing statement. So what is the meaning of marginal costing? So marginal costing can be understood in two different aspects. One is economic point of view, another one is accountant point of view. So according to economic point of view, cost in incurred in producing an additional unit of product is termed as marginal costing. For example, if you have produced 1000 unit, now you are going to decide to increase the volume of production from 1000 to 1100. For that additional 100 units, how much cost you are going to incur? That cost alone is called as marginal cost, that is additional cost. According to accountant point of view, marginal costing applies to the total cost obtained by adding prime cost and variable cost. In other words, it can be called as a total cost other than fixed cost is called as marginal costing. Let me explain variable cost and fixed cost with an example. For example, if you want to stitch one shirt, what are the item is required? 2 meter clothes, 10 buttons, 1 thread labor charge and sewing machine these are the essential item in order to stitch one shirt for one shirt two meter is required no each meter cost 200 100 rupees for two meters 200 rupees is required 50 rupees value of button is required 10 rupees value of thread is required and 100 rupees labor charge is required and one sewing machine so before you solve this, you need to identify what are the items are variable cost and what are the items are fixed cost. So all these items are variable cost and saying machine is fixed cost. Why? Because if you want to increase the production, if you want to stitch 10 shirt or 20 shirt or 1000 shirt, you need to go for more number of uh, cloth and buttons also you need to increase according to the production and thread also you need to increase according to the output and for labor charge also for one shirt you are going to give 100 rupees no for 10 shirt how much amount you have to pay 1000 rupees for 20 shirts 2000 rupees in the same way each and every variable cost you need to increase proportionately according to the output or according to the requirement whereas fixed cost means as I told earlier fixed cost amount will be remain same there will be no changes in fixed cost you are not going to buy 2 or 10 machine for each and every shirt with the help of one sewing machine you can able to stitch one shirt or 10 shirts or 20 shirts so according to the requirement you can increase the output but the fixed cost always remain same just see the problem variable cost per unit for one shirt just take the total of variable cost 360 so 360 divided by one shirt this is a variable cost per unit 360 if you want to increase the number of output from 1 to 10 shirt for 10 shirt 2000 rupees value of cloth is required 500 rupees button 100 rupees thread labor charge 1000 for each shirt 100 rupees no, for 10 shirt 1000 rupees so total variable cost 3600 so a variable cost per unit for 10 shirts 3600 divided by 10 you will get 360 if you go for 20 shirts 7200 divided by 20 360 so variable cost per unit always remain same but the amount will be vary from 360 to 3600 then 7200 so according to the output according to the output you need to incur more number of amount so investment is required in variable cost but cost per unit remain same in case of variable cost whereas uh, fixed cost per unit will vary but the amount will be remain same for one shirt 2000 rupees value of sewing machine is enough for 10 shirt that one machine is enough for 20 shirts the same 2000 rupees is required okay but when you calculate per unit fixed cost per unit 2000 rupees equal to one shirt you have stitched no for that 2000 rupees per unit or per shirt for 10 shirt 200 rupees for 20 shirt 100 rupees when you increase the output the fixed cost per unit will always uh, um, diminishing or decreasing according to the output but the amount will be remain same so variable cost per unit remain same fixed cost amount remain same variable cost total amount will vary but the fixed cost amount will always same 
So now I am going to explain marginal costing statement. With the help of marginal costing statement, you can derive the various formula which is required to solve all these things. So let me explain marginal costing statement. For that first you need to take sales. Sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution then minus fixed cost profit. This is a simple method of solving all the problem. So marginal costing statement means first you need to take sales and minus variable cost then you will get contribution. I told you no variable cost means uh, variable cost it is additional cost which is required to produce additional output. While you adding additional output additional production you need to incur some additional expense. Why because variable cost is always uh, vary according to the production level but fixed cost remain constant let me explain clearly about variable cost and fixed cost so variable cost means it represent those expense which increase or decrease in proportion to the output and sales but variable cost per unit remain constant but amount means variable cost is vary according to the production now I am going to explain fixed cost. Fixed cost means it represents those expenses which do not vary in total with the change in volume of output for a given period of time. But fixed cost per unit will always fluctuate according to the production level or according to the sales level. So both variable cost plus fixed cost is equal to total cost. But marginal cost means only you need to consider variable cost. Why? Because Fixed cost remain constant whether it is a increase output or a decrease output fixed cost remaining same there will be no changes in fixed cost but variable cost always fluctuate according to sales or production. Just look at the problem you are given the following data for the year 2014 of the company. So these are the information is given variable cost 6 lakhs fixed cost 3 lakhs profit 1 lakh sales 10 lakhs. With this information, you need to find out profit volume ratio. Profit volume ratio means PV ratio. And second one, break even point. Break even point means uh, break even is a point where there is no profit and no loss. Below break even is a loss zone. Above break even is a profit zone. But break even means where there is no profit and no loss. So you need to find out where we are going to get exact cost is equal to sales then profit when sales amount to 12 lakhs so sales value is given with this given sales value you need to calculate profit how much profit we are going to get out of 12 lakhs sales and sales required to earn profit so profit is given in order to get 2 lakh rupee profit how much volume of sales is required these are two controversy first one is you need to find profit and second you need to find sales here sales is given here profit is given then last one margin of safety before you solve the PV ratio first uh, now I am going to frame marginal costing statement marginal costing statement sales what is the sales 10 lakhs no put 10 lakhs here minus variable cost variable cost 6 lakhs balance 4 lakhs this is contribution so contribution means marginal cost sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution then you can consider fixed cost fixed cost 3 lakhs after deducting fixed cost you will get profit so profit is given no 1 lakh rupees there now you can frame various formula you can you can find out the answer so first i'm going to solve pv ratio they ask you to calculate these things no profit volume ratio for that i'm going to use this marginal costing statement so what is the formula for mar pv ratio contribution divided by sales into 100 contribution means sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution 4 lakhs 
divided by sales. How much sales? 10 lakhs into 100. What is the answer? 40 percentage. So first solution is over. Second one. Break even point. As I explained earlier, break even means where there is no profit and no loss. You can find break even point in units and in rupees. But in this problem, only rupee value is given. You cannot find break even point in units. With the help of this, only you can able to find out break even point in rupees. So, what is the formula for break even point in rupees? Fixed cost divided by PV ratio. What is the fixed cost here? 3 lakhs. 3 lakhs divided by PV ratio 40 percentage. What is the answer? 7 lakh 50 thousand. Then third one. Profit when sales amounted to 12 lakhs. Sales value is given. With this given sales, you need to calculate profit. What is the formula for that? Required profit is equal to sales. That is given sales. 12 lakhs is given. No, given sales into PV ratio minus fixed cost. You can able to find out required profit. What is the given sales in this problem? Profit when sales amounted to 12 lakhs. Just take the sales, 12 lakh sales here. PV ratio 40 percentage, no? Just apply that. Minus fixed cost. So fixed cost remain constant irrespective of sales. The same 3 lakh rupee you can apply here also. This is a profit, required profit with given sales. Then fourth one. Sales required to earn a profit of rupees 2 lakhs. Here profit is given. They ask you to calculate the volume of sales with given profit. So given profit is 2 lakh. You are going to find out sales. Fourth one. Required sales is equal to, this is the formula, fixed cost plus desired profit divided by PV ratio. You can able to refer the break even point. So break even point means fixed cost divided by PV ratio. So break even means where there is no profit and no loss. Above break even is profit region. Below break even is loss region no so fixed cost plus desired profit is equal to required sales where you are going to get this much of profit that is your desired profit just find the break even and add along with the desired profit you will get required sales just apply this formula fixed cost remain same no just write 3 lakhs PV ratio 40 percentage plus desired profit so what is the desired profit in this problem just refer the problem 2 lakh rupee no just add that amount here Twelve lakh fifty thousand. so this is the required sales in order to get 2 lakh rupee profit then last one Margin of safety. Margin of safety is nothing but difference between actual sales and break even sales. It's called as margin, that is a profit. So, margin of safety formula is actual sales minus break even sales. What is the actual sales according to this problem? 10 lakhs, no? 
just write 10 lakhs here what is the break even sales just refer the second one break even sales 7 lakh 50000 difference between actual sales and break even sales is equal to margin of safety let me explain again sales minus variable cost is equal to contribution then minus fixed cost is equal to profit with this marginal costing statement you can solve all these things so first one pv ratio pv ratio means contribution divided by sales into 100 contribution means sales minus variable cost that is 4 lakh contribution is there no just put 4 lakhs rupee divided by 10 lakhs into 100 40 percentage next one break even point break even point means no profit no loss that is fixed cost divided by pv ratio fixed cost 3 lakh rupees no just put 3 lakhs divided by 40 percentage 7 lakh 50 thousand is a break even point then required profit with given sales so given sales is 12 lakhs into pv ratio that is you can apply the same formula 40 percentage minus fixed cost is equal to required profit that is 1 lakh 80 thousand is a required profit next required sales fixed cost so desired profit profit is given with that profit you need to calculate required sales so the formula is fixed cost plus desired profit divided by pv ratio 3 lakhs divided by 40 percentage plus 2 lakhs 12 lakh 50 thousand then margin of safety margin of safety means difference between actual sales minus break even sales actual sales is according to this problem 10 lakhs just write 10 lakhs minus break even sales 7 lakhs 50 thousand 7 lakh 50 thousand break even sales is equal to 2 lakh 50 thousand margin of safety hope you understood pv ratio break even point required profit with given sales required sales with given profit and margin of safety thank you